short. And we got some last minute to buy. Do you have a price list? The different prices for these different, we got bars, we got Australian nuggets and lunar coins, we have got Burj Khalifa coins. Um, can I see one of the one tenth ounce Burj Khalifa coins? And then. So, uh, I think we have only half ounce. Only half ounce? Okay, I'll take a look at that. Uh, oh, you've got the Krugerrand. Can I see the one tenth ounce Krugerrand? Is, can I see that? You got Krugerrand, they got hat sovereigns. So, this is a quarter ounce? This one is half ounce. Uh, this is a quarter ounce, one printing. This is half ounce. Well, it says 110. Yeah, 110. This is half ounce. Oh, that's half ounce. Okay. This I was half like, man, the half ounce got a lot smaller. <laughs> yeah. So this is nice. It has the Burj Khalifa on it. Who's in here? Welcome, Ibrahim. Welcome. So you guys were looking at some coins. How much is this one? Okay. 560 dirhams and 155.56. Okay. And then what do you have in your hand there? This is... The Kruger end. I might get myself a little Kruger end. And the prices are firm, huh? There's no negotiation here. No, no, this is. This is government run, correct? Yeah. You guys, I could get myself a little Kruger end. Okay, I kind of like this. It's like the Palm Jamira. But this one's kind of nice. It's got the Burj Khalifa. Do you have any other gold coins that have like um, Dubai or Arabic things or no? This is the Just these. Yeah, this is the Let's see here. I love these. How, how, ten tolas. So tola, so tola is from Pakistan, right? Most of the, some countries there is tola, some countries there is. Tola. So tola is eleven point six grams. Eleven point six four six six Eleven point six. Six, six. This tola is 116.60 grams. Okay. What's up, Tony? Yeah. So how much is this uh, small? This one? Yeah. Ten tola? Yeah. The dollar is 5,189 dollars. Can I see it, please? Yeah, this is it. Oh, here, you just pulled one out. So here you guys go. The ten tola. Yeah. That's a nice one, guys. This is about $5,000. 5,100, something like this. I'm not getting one of these today, but I think eventually I will. Maybe when I leave here for the last time. So we got some bullion. Guys, we got some. And technically, I don't think these are coins. Technically, I think these are rounds. Because I don't think they're official tender. Except for the Krugerrand. So you guys, Tola, Tola is from Pakistan or India? No, India, they said uh, per grams. In Pakistan, they said Tola. Okay, guys, so Tola is the term in Pakistan. And one tola is 11.6 grams. I learned that while I was out here. So this is 10 times 11.6. So it's a total of 116.6 grams uh, is this. But in India, guys, they go by grams. Middle East, they go by grams, I think. And then what about bars? Are these all just Pamp Swiss? Is the, do you have any bars that say like Dubai or anything? No? I don't know, what do you guys think? So how much is this? This is 1.10, 1.10 is 560 grams, 155.56 dollars. 155, okay, and then how much is the, is the <coughs> half ounce? Half ounce will be 2,590 grams, 719.40. Wow, that's expensive guys, that's a premium. What do you guys think? Should I get this little 10th ounce? What do you guys think? It's about 156 bucks, that's pretty, that's a lot of um, premium. And then how much is this? this the Krugerrand? 155. Yeah. So it's, it's only 56 cents cheaper than this. Yeah. So if I'm gonna get something, guys, it will be this. You guys think I should get this? I'm thinking I might get this little piece of gold. It's, it's more, but I think the premium resale on it would be more anyways. Or should I get the ten tolas? That thing is amazing. And you guys, we got the one kilo gold. How much is the kilo? 
Kilo price is 160,096. Only $44,000? Do you take check? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna get this. Is there anything else or is this all the same? What do you want to see? Is this all, oh, you have platinum. How much is the platinum? People have been telling me to get platinum lately. How much is 10 grams platinum? Platinum 10 grams is $1,075, $299. $299, you guys, they actually have sovereigns here. 2018. Do you have smaller platinum or no? the smallest one, sir. Okay, keep this here. I'm gonna probably get this, uh, but I wanna see, make sure there's nothing else. So if you guys wanna see, if you guys got any question, what's up, hi-ho silver? Yeah, hi-ho, you know, I'd usually pass too, but those 10th ounce carry a nice little premium because this is the only place you can get it from and the price is super controlled. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I get it or should I pass and try to come back when it's cheaper? If it's cheaper. What do you guys think? Here's the prices. Go big or go home. So this is right here in the airport, guys. Tony says bye. Zoravar says go big or go home. So should I get that one kilo of gold? Should I get the one kilo? Look at this jewelry. Look at that jewelry, guys. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Let me show you guys over here one more time. I know, I feel like gold's gonna go up anyway, too. I feel like I might just get it to have something, you guys. I've Last time I was here, I didn't get it, and I couldn't find it anywhere else. Do you have a few different ones? Can I see? No, same source. I know, I just want to see. No I want to pick my favorite. Sure. All right, guys, so should I get bachelor number one, bachelor number two, or bachelor number three? I'll show you the backs. So here's bachelor number one, bachelor number two, and bachelor number three. Which one, guys? One, two, or three? This is one. This is two. This is three. Don't worry, I'm definitely not gonna buy a kilo of gold. <laughs> I can't afford that, that's for sure. Let's see what you guys pick. While you guys are picking, I'm gonna show you this. Look at that kilo. Do you sell this a lot or no? Yeah, of course. Yeah? yeah? Beautiful. Okay, we got a vote for we got two votes for all three. I'm not gonna do that. You gotta vote for one. I think I'll do, let me make sure. Three, two, one. All right, guys, I'm gonna pick up this one. The stacking kid says one as well. Hi ho, great point. I will cover the premium by skipping dinner and a beverage because I am going back to Saudi Arabia. I'll get this brother. How much? 560 grams, 156. Okay, deal. Let's shake on it. All right, cool. Why don't you go for this one as well, sir? This one as well. I'm Meskin Habibi. I don't have oh. enough. Just this one today. Maybe next time. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm pulling the trigger. Let me get out my wallet. Look at that, guys. Let me show you that while I pull out my wallet. Look at that. Wow, this stuff is awesome. Imagine the airport, guys. That shows you the value of uh, precious metals out here versus other places. You can literally buy this stuff in the airport. I know, maybe I will do the Burj Khalifa one next. Those ones up there are Krugerrands, South African. I will, Ibrahim, thank you. Thank you for the coaching. Once I pay for the guys, I'll show you guys um, one final scan of all the gold jewelry and coins they have here, but this is the bullion cabinet. I, I want one of these little tin tolas so bad. They're so amazing. This is the one with uh, this price. Which one? 
This is the medium one. One twenty-one thousand three hundred ninety dollars. Three hundred eighty-six dollars. Oh, really? Yeah. Been four. Ah. You want the one twenty? This is the one one twenty. Oh, it's the same, Lucy? It's the same, but this one. It's the same size, it's just thicker. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll take that one. I'll get it. It fell out. Okay, guys, we've had a gold coin spill. Where did it go? Is it in the package? Check. Yeah, it's in. All right, it's still in the package. <laughs> In here causing trouble. Yes, let me grab it. Here it is. Let me get my wallet and stuff. <laughs> Almost had a disaster. Crazy. I'm going to show you guys while I'm paying. Look at all this stuff, guys. This is right here in the airport. Uh, paying dollars. Yeah. Beautiful. If you want to do 130, I'll take it. <laughs> Look at this, guys. This is the airport. I'll show you guys the coin and bullion. If you guys missed it. One of the coins fell off the table and almost broke out of the package. Look at this, guys. Kilo. Kilo right to the face. Ten tolas. Look at all this. Look at this, guys. So gold like this is really popular in India for weddings. Stuff like that. This is right here in the airport in Dubai, guys. Gold for days, but let me take you back to the bullion. I am buying a little tenth ounce. It's a little more premium than I like to pay, but you can only get it here. I think gold's going up anyway. And I won't eat dinner. Okay. Thank you, Habibi. Okay. Sorry about that, I was paying. Look at these coins, guys. They got Krugerrands. They got Buffaloes. They got American Gold Eagles. They've got Canadian Maples, Gold Britannias, Australian something or others. Big boys. Yeah, no problem. One kilogram, 500 grams, 10 tolas. So while I was out here, guys, 10 tolas a tola is from Pakistan and it's equal to 11.6 ounces or 11.6 grams. Yeah, those are one ounces. I <laughs> maybe someday I'll buy a kilo of gold, but I'm definitely not there yet. Here's the prices, guys. It's set by the government. So it's actually regulated and set, so there's no bartering in here. It's not like the other place. The other place where I got my silver, I'm going to post for you guys so you can see how I did that. Here's all the prices. Benji. Benji. So to finish this sale, I've got to get a signature. So he's working on getting the signature. Wow, Zavar, that's interesting. I've never been to the gold ones in Shanghai, but we do have some little Chinese lanterns here. So we're close, right? Happy New Year. <laughs> But yeah, of course I want to buy a kilo. So I'm about to get this coin, guys. I'm going to show you. You guys, I almost ended up with a quarter ounce instead of a tenth of an ounce. I'll tell you in a second. Totally not on purpose, though. You done? This? Yes. Beautiful. Oh, it's in a nice pouch. Thank you, brother. Do I get a gift? It's my birthday. One more coin gift? No? Thank you, brother.
All right, guys. Now we'll head to the we'll head to my uh, gate here. Thanks for joining in. Hi ho. Hope you enjoyed the little gold stook here in the airport. Now I'm gonna high tilt it over to my gate. Woo! Is that crazy, guys? What did you guys think about that? Straight up gold and silver bullion right in the airport. Fancy cars. Look at that one. These guys over here. Show you guys this car while we're walking. Look at this. Welcome to Dubai. Happy birthday uh, in a few days, stacking kid. Mine was actually on the 20th, but <laughs> I was just trying to get something out of him. Hey, I got the nice leather pouch though. That was pretty cool. That's, a, that's at least worth a couple bucks. Oh, look what it says. It says, Dubai duty free. That's nice. Maybe I'll gaw that pouch away on the mega gaw. That'd be fun. Not the gold though. That puppy's mine. That guy's like, why don't you take this half ounce? Not for $700. We got Gucci here. Headed down. Gold Trump coin, that'd be epic. <laughs> Build the wall. <laughs> That's funny, Tony. So we got Swarovski, we got Boss, Mont Black. So this is the tobacco you can get. Graham, back in the house. I just left a little gold souk. But once we get to my gate, there's another gold souk there. It's just smaller. Uh, but this is duty free, so you can get alcohol, tobacco products, all that for really cheap. But I'm going to Saudi Arabia, so I can't. It is forbidden on my flight. This is the Dubai airport, guys. It's known as one of the nicest airports. Thank you, Zoravar. I can't see your name. How do I say that? It is Zoravar. 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 It's already so nothing like Shanghai, but my friend, this is just the airport. Wait until I post the video of the gold souk, which I'll post when I get home. That thing, there's like 3,000 shops, tons of gold. There's gold pieces there that have won the Guinness World Record. You'll see. But I'm sure Shanghai is crazy because I know gold in the Chinese culture is very big too. Yeah, Tony, I, I speak uh, Arabic at like an intermediate level. Just depends on the conversation. But yes, I do. So this is actually one of the older parts of the airport. There's actually way newer, bigger, nicer ones. Look at this guy here. This is like Shanghai. Hello. How are you? How are you? Nice outfit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Stuart, it is <laughs> certainly international style. Some place here. Food places. It's really international. There's like Chinese food and all kinds of food. There's some place here called the gallery. It's obviously a bar. That's nice. I'm walking kind of quick, guys, just to make sure to get us down here to see. But there's another gold oh, shop down here. So in the near future, here, like a minute, I think we'll be looking at some more gold bullion. Oh, yeah, guys. So I was looking at the three, pe three coins, and they're all exactly the same size. So I picked a number one because you guys said number one. But then at the last minute, he found out that it was a quarter ounce. It wasn't a tenth of an ounce. So the coin were the same size, but the, the uh, quarter ounce was only thicker. So I legit almost got the quarter ounce for a tenth ounce and didn't even know it. And he, he caught it. But I mean, if I saw it, I would have returned it. But then he went to drop it to me. And then it dropped off the counter and then the package broke open. You can see this on the video if you play it back. And I thought the coin went out. We're looking for the coin. But in reality, the coin stayed in the package. It was crazy. B. Now we're going down some escalators to get to C. 
glad I got out of there. Probably gonna get right to my flight. Let's see, folks. Going down the escalator. What will he find on the other side? Gold, silver, Yeah, I almost ended up with a <laughs> quarter ounce instead of a tenth of an ounce. I would have returned it though, guys. I've got integrity. If I caught it here, who knows? If I didn't catch it here, I probably wouldn't have caught it for months or years. <laughs> I probably would have never caught it. Wow. That's awesome, Zorovar. Make sure you hit the bell and you check out this gold souk. I want to know. What's better, if the gold souk here is better, the big gold souk, or if the one there is better. And if the one there is better, maybe I'm going to have to visit Shanghai. Yeah, pandas are great, you're right. Good, Tony, it's good to be honest. The stacking nerd, you missed it, but there's another one. So you only missed the first gold shop. There's one more gold shop coming up here uh, on the way to my next gate. So it's okay, do not panic. I did buy some gold so far. I made one purchase, I got this, 10th ounce. Little Dubanian relic, that's a, the Palm Island. Here we go. Here's some, here we go guys, stacking nerd, you're just in time. Here's the next gold souk in the airport. All gold, this is run by the government. Got some pearls. Pearls there for the lady. Stacking nerd. Some bangles. Here we go. Hello, how are you? So here's some bars and pendants. Here's some coins. So we got some buffaloes, some Krugerrands, Australian. Looks like American gold eagles. What are those? We got some big bars. We got a kilo bar, 500 gram bar. We got 24 karat gold rings. What do you guys think? Nice, huh? <laughs> That's funny stacking there. Is it safe for work? Ibrahim, I've been there before. I'll probably come there again. I'll let you know for sure when I do. Look at all this, guys. Right here in the airport. Look at all this. <laughs> Offering 50K for the whole showcase. 50K, 50K would barely cover this one kilo, 50K would barely cover that. <laughs> I need a lot more than 50K. It is family, 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 family friendly stacking kid. Yeah, Stacking Nerd, they will let you hold it. I was holding the 10 Tolas at the last place. I doubt they would let me hold the Kilo unless I was like plop money on the table though. That thing's like $45,000. But I held the 10 Tolas earlier in the video and that's worth about $5,000. I know. Haifa City, maybe I'll come visit you, Abraham. You never know, my friend. Okay, we're getting down here towards my gate. Once I get to my gate, guys, if it's behind, I'll toll, my gate's not far from here. I'll totally go back to there and we'll hold some bars and look at it closely, look at some coins. But this is the Middle East and flights get jacked, so I just need to go down to my flight, make sure it's okay first. Probably take me only one minute to get there, two minutes. Hey, Anthony, thanks for joining. Thank you. Ah, and guys, I'm going to hit up the Marhaban Lounge. It's a VIP lounge. I got access to it. So it's awesome. And there's free food, free drinks, all this. 
So maybe we'll go there next. Yeah, so we'll check the gate. Then we'll go there and I'll show you guys up close the gold I purchased in the souk that's in the mysterious satchel. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. That's how I justify pay, paying more of a premium. Victoria's Secret. Is Mrs. International in there? Um, that's uh, how I justify spending more on the premium. Yeah, I got a free bag. Hold the bag. <laughs> so yes, we are in the Dubai airport. One of the largest in the world. A sword behind the counter. They just lop my hand off. Ah, uh, no, there's no tax. Stacking kid. Well, it depends. Like on food and stuff, there's tax. And some stuff, there's tax. But some stuff, if you pay cash, you don't have to pay tax. And like tax on your paycheck, they don't charge. So yes and no. Yes and no. When I came through security with my kilo bar, I pulled it out, they're like, do you have a receipt? I'm like, oh, I left my freaking receipt in my bag. Cause I did by mistake, I totally meant to bring it. But I left it in my check bag. You need, you need, I don't have brother, I don't have. Okay, next time you keep, okay, sorry. <laughs> That's how that went. That's awesome, Logan. Nothing beats the kilo in your hand, I'll tell you that much. Just so you guys know too, my battery's getting low. So I'm gonna to try to make it to a place where we can plug in before it dies. But if it dies, that's what happened to me. Okay. Let's keep going. Whoa, look, Sky Bar. Guinness. That's awesome. And there's a bunch of shops. There's probably another gold shop down here. Look at that. Yeah, there's a gold shop right there, guys. Cool. So the gold shop will be really close, and that looks like a much bigger one. As a matter of fact, maybe I can give you guys a uh, better view. So, in this one terminal, we've hit three different gold shops. Well, we've hit two, and we've seen a third one. That's epic. That shows you they value their PMs, and you're about to get an aerial view of this next gold shop here in the Dubai airport. Okay, see right there? That's all gold, and one of these is bullion. So we'll come back to that. Let me just check my gate. Actually, should we just go down there? What time is it? No, we need to go to the gate. We'll get an aerial view. Oh, there it is right there, guys, I see it. I see bars and coins, look. Feast your eyes. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go quick. We're gonna do a hit and run and I'll go straight to my gate. How's that sound? If I miss my flight, <laughs> be so freaking pissed. <laughs> I kinda wanted to grab one last beer before I head back to Saudi. But for you guys, I'll make the sacrifice. Sixteen, seventeen. Yeah. I think my plane is boarding as we speak. But it's okay. 13, 14, 15, Yeah. It's okay, guys. We can shoot the gold and silver. Should we take this money to buy gold and silver? All right, here we go. This is going to be souk number three we're hitting in the airport. On the way to the... If I can take you guys to this gold, gold souk, and get a beer and make my flight. That would be the trifecta. Here we go. Nobles, Texas in the house. What's up, my friend? Yes, we're at the airport here in Dubai. Little bank, big bank in the house. Yeah, you know, I thought there was silver, but then once I looked at them, there's no silver, it's all gold. So technically I lied in the description, but I didn't mean to. <laughs> well, I'm sure there's silver there. Let's see. Up, oh, I'm definitely getting a copyright strike on this one. So yeah, 
Here we go, guys. Yes. It's definitely not fake, Joe John. It's government run. Look at this. Look at this. Joe John, just so you know, I chest all of my gold and silver on a Sigma Metalytics Pro. So, definitely isn't fake if it ends up in my collection, my friend. And PAMP is the, um, is the most popular gold overseas. Yeah, you can test PAMP gold, and you can actually test it while it's in the package, actually. Watch the video of my review on the Sigma and you can see it firsthand, my friend. All right, guys, what do you think about that? That's here in the airport. That's crazy. So Joe, you get a certificate from the government of Dubai. This is in the airport done by the government. If anything ever popped up fake, you could petition back and get a refund and a gift. So I'm not worried. In the airport, stuff sanctioned by the government is the one place here you don't have to worry about it being fake. But if it was, I'd have it all on video and I'd get a refund. But it felt right in my hand, it all looks right. The one I got's an assay card, so I feel comfortable. But even with that, I'm gonna test it when I get home. But thank you for the concern, I definitely appreciate it. Yep, Stacky Nerd, the Sigma is awesome. You can go right through packaging, coin capsules, bar capsules, all that. We got Julian in the house. We're just leaving the little gold suit here in the airport. I'm headed to my gate. If we have time, the plan is to grab a, one of my last beers uh, until I leave the country next time, which is the end of February, to come back to the United States to do the mega ga, 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 ga. And if you caught my stream earlier, I got a few things for that here. Clinton's in the house. Just a little public service announcement, guys. If my feed goes dead, it means my battery died. But I think we can make it. I think we can make it to the gate and plug in. Yes, Abraham, I agree. A lot of the pamps on eBay are fake, totally. That's why you gotta buy from reputable dealers, uh, people with massive feedback, and then you do it in a way to where you test it and can get refunded on it if it ends up being fake. But I wouldn't just buy from any Joe Schmo because all this stuff's coming from China, totally, 100%. That's funny, Julian, yeah. Thanks, Stacking Nerd, hope you enjoyed it. Have fun at work. Hope it goes well. I hope you get sales if you're into sales. If you're in the medical field, I hope you cure cancer. Okay, we're almost to the gate. They're probably gonna be like yelling at me. Where have you been? We wait for you. Oh, look at that Hennessy collection. Wow. How are you, brother? Look at this Jack Daniels collection. Wow. Who wants it? Should we get a barrel, guys? What do I think about silver? I love silver. It's my favorite. And currently, I stack way more silver than I do gold. Because I'm playing the ratio. Okay. Okay. We're almost to the gate. Nobles in the house. <laughs> That's funny, nobles. <laughs> I get such crazy prizes. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Joe, they sell diamonds, but I didn't see any here. But if you go to the actual gold souk, they have diamonds. And I took a really good video of the gold suit I'm going to be posting in the next couple days because I couldn't stream from there. And you're going to see a lot of diamonds, kilograms of gold, silver, all kinds of things. Okay. We're here. Let me check my ticket. 
And Epic Phil, there's a Starbucks down here. No bar. Epic Phil. Let's see how long we have. Let's see how long we have. I'm not gonna show my flight information. Yeah, so I just don't wanna put that out there. Let's see. Hello. How long until boarding? Eight minutes, okay, thank you. Eight minutes. We have eight minutes. Can we find a drink in eight minutes? My last one before I go to the Middle East. Well, I'm already in the Middle East. My last one before I go to Riyadh. <laughs> Time digger, run! Do you know how serious this is, guys? Do you know how serious this is? Okay. I'll go two escalators down. If there's nothing, it was a valiant try. No, Tony. Alcohol is completely illegal in Saudi Arabia. Completely illegal. Okay. Let's see what we got down here. There is a little shop here. Ooh, there might be something on the right. We may be in business, folks. Yeah, I need a hot dog and a beer, stat. <laughs> I'll totally do that if I have one. Hot dog and a beer for the boys. Yeah, Clinton, I'm sure. Oh, here we go, folks. Here we go. Peroni. Peroni. Yes. So it's a stand, a magical stand here of beer. Peroni is from uh, Italy. Should get some, we got chicken wings. Okay, we have beef bacon, but we have no pork. So I'll have to settle for the beer. We'll get a water too, Arwa has low. Ooh, you have on tap. He has it on tap, folks. Uh, you're gonna get the big one, right? Yeah, the big one. Sure. Thank you. Uh, you gonna pay by cash or card? I'll pay by card. Where are you from? Oh, nice. And yourself? I'm from the U.S. U.S. Which part? Uh, California. California. But I, I heard Zimbabwe is a beautiful country. Yeah, but nowadays I don't think it's still like... Problems now? Yeah. What do they think of gold and silver in Zimbabwe? Do they collect? Yeah, they do. Yeah. What's more valuable, gold or silver? I think gold is more. Like diamond, diamond, yeah. Diamond's better? Yeah. Nice. Before it used to be gold, but later on they discovered they, discovered they have diamonds. So. so then diamond took over? Yeah. So I remember back in 2009, 10, Nice. It was, there was some certain part, they didn't know it was diamond, you know? Yeah. So it was just like all over the place. Do you want to take it in dollars or MRS? Yeah, dollars is fine. Cool. Awesome. You got the water too, right? Yeah, sure. All right, cool. Get a nice pour on that. Thank you, my friend. I've got all my friends watching from all over the world to see your perfect pour. Oh, it's up. Yes. I'm flying back to Saudi Arabia, so I have to have my last yeah, drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you get a lot of those here? Yo. Look at that, it's like a cup of gold. Saudi gold. <laughs> Do you have a message for my viewers? Yeah, is it on YouTube or? Yeah. Yo guys, the guy is in Dubai right now, bro. What do you think about gold and silver? Should we buy it all? Yeah, of course, man, definitely. <laughs> thank you, brother. Yeah, thank you. This guy's super cool, huh? Super cool. Can we down this, guys, and still make the flight? Can 
Fenway. So you like your best in Saudi or just? Yeah, I work in Saudi. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I do contracting. Oh, yeah. Four minutes left. Are you really keeping time for me, Julian? If you are, you're the freaking legend. Three, two, one, chug, chug, chug. Now, you guys, I do not condone drinking unless you're over age and you keep it in moderation. But this is desperate times, call for desperate measures. This is an emergency situation. Silver lining in the house. Are you from uh, Harare or Bulawayo? Yeah, I'm from He's from Harare. One of my people asked, one of my uh, friends asked. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah. He's from Harare. He liked that. <laughs> 